We have um, a very young population. We have invested uh, for decades in top quality education for those people. We also have, I think, a national hunger um, for enterprise. Uh, and alongside that, as you know, we have an export uh, focused economy and we also have a very pro-business uh, environment. Um, so we're, we're already leading um, in a number of science and technology areas uh, where we have investments in Ireland. And I think all of those things taken together uh, and our achievements in technology, in agri-science, in pharma and other sectors actually position us very strongly to lead um, w in the cloud area because cloud by its nature transcends all boundaries and transcends all sectors. Um, and effectively we have a fantastic platform to work off uh, from, from what I've set out there. Uh, I think in addition to that, Ireland is very, very unique um, because we're actually positioned at what I think of as the crossroads of data exchange. We are almost midway between the US and China. Uh, we are strategically a gateway into Europe. Um, so w w we are at that information crossroads, so to speak. And I think previous, um, or what might have been perceived as previous limitations to an island economy disappear when you talk about cloud. And equally, um, the benefits uh, of old business models, which is needing to be close to your market and to your customer equally, aren't necessarily as strong when you look at, at the cloud industry. So in many respects, global boundaries are being redrawn. And in fact, they're sort of re being redrawn um, very nicely in Ireland's favour. A considerable amount of our um, R&D capability that we have in Ireland now is actually devoted to cloud. In fact, we're innovating, we're incubating, and we're actually globalizing cloud solutions from our Irish base as we speak today. Let me give you some examples. So in Galway, we have um, a global center for cloud service innovation. Um, and engineers down there have actually pioneered um, the first end-to-end -end, uh, product recall process, uh, which is actually delivered as a hosted cloud service. And what that has done, and it's used by thousands of businesses globally, but, but what that has done is it has reduced the product recall cycle from its previous um, cycle, which was 42 days, to one hour. And that's actually very, very powerful because it is in the area of food product recall. So obviously lives are at stake when you have to recall food products. And this has actually not just improved um, an industrial process, but it's actually also contributing to saving lives. So, so that's one example. Um, another example would be hpcloud.com, which is HP's first public cloud offering, um, was actually developed and pioneered here in Ireland as well. And that is providing fast, cheap, um, and reliable um, cloud services and compute services to consumers, to SMBs, and all the way up to the enterprise um, at a corporate level. So once again, another uh, public cloud offering that was pioneered here in Ireland. And finally, um, our engineers are busy developing cloud infrastructure solutions, cloud applications, and cloud storage solutions uh, from the R&D centres that we have based here. So there's quite a lot of cloud-based activity that's actually been happening here for the past couple of years, which is now really only coming into its own as cloud has become um, as topical as, as it has been of late. Well, I think the first thing to say about the opportunity is, is that for Ireland to fully capitalise on the opportunity, I think we have to be the compelling proposition and we have to be the gold standard when it comes to this industry. And for me, the game changer here is actually the businesses that will evolve around the cloud and that will lead us to do more and more business over the cloud. And sitting alongside that, um, I think the analytics uh, companies, which will effectively connect those businesses with their customers. And I think the analytics piece um, is fascinating because to some extent that's the mind reading piece and that's the piece that allows us to understand, to know, to predict customer behaviours and patterns from the myriad of data that's actually generated over the internet, over the cloud, and obviously that can be interpreted uh, for those businesses and which will, which will bring them closer to their customers in a virtual way uh, in the same way that, as I said earlier, uh, previous business uh, models will were, were be very close to your customer. 
So I think what we will see is businesses being more close to their customers than they were in the past, but, but being virtually uh, more close. So the game changer for me won't necessarily be the cloud itself per se, but it'll actually be the ecosystems that will actually develop and revolve around, uh, around the cloud. So, so Ireland needs to become a hotspot it needs to become a haven for cloud entrepreneurs and for people who want to start up businesses uh, in this space. And I think looking to government there, what I would say is that our, um, our support structures for startup companies in this space, I think we need to really accelerate uh, the support structures that we're offering uh, these startups. And equally from a, an enterprise policy uh, perspective, um, how do we actually incentivize international players, new players, new kids on the block, uh, in the cloud arena to come into Ireland. And again, I'd, I'd be sort of advocating a much stronger focus within our enterprise policy on those types of organisations uh, and bringing them into Ireland to complement, as I say, um, indigenous spin-offs and indigenous startups that I could envisage sort of um, setting up here. But the, it's that, um, as I said, hot spot, melting pot of entrepreneurs and startups that really will I think, bring us the new businesses and the new concepts and the new paradigms that will actually operate over the cloud.